Oh, no. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of You Floor, Flooring Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Zanone Hunt. And today, what we're gonna be going over is this puppy right here. We install floor, by the way, and we also do some cabinet work, but uh, our main thing is doing flooring, and you need a good miter saw when doing that because you have to run quarter round, sometimes you have to run baseboard, and sometimes it just takes a good saw that will do cross cuts with the, with, you know, with the slide, so if you're ever into any wide boards, you're able to cover yourself on that okay so this is not uh this is not the most expensive saw on the market as you can see it is a ryobi and they are real cost effective as far as the money goes as far as the job site goes uh, in my opinion now everybody has their own opinions uh, i loved my dewalt saw and if i would have had the money at the time i would have bought another one of those but we needed a saw that day it was perfect because it was on sale and it got me thinking oh slider i can do some things that i couldn't do with my dewalt saw so i bought it uh, long story short you need to let the saw do the work so guys if you have a saw like this and it's a little bit more inexpensive uh not not exactly the quality of something like a dewalt or whatever it is they're selling at home depot the top name brands i always just go with dewalt we had some wood that was actually pretty hard in order to make it through that wood what you really need to do is let the rpms get up really high and let that wheel spin and let the blade do the work when the blade started getting a little bit dull they thought to make it cut better they would force down on the blade and all that does is bog it up it stops it from spinning at its top peak speed it also stops it from performing the way it's supposed to perform so with that being said over a course of a couple days of doing that they ended up breaking the handle off of the saw as you can see right here and I uh, tried to weigh whether or not I should replace it or I should try to just buy another one and so for twenty dollars ten dollars shipping and handling we went and got another one of these and it looks like a perfect match so today we're going to be swapping those out all right so this seems to look like a pretty simple process i've already started loosening these up right here and took the handle off yeah there you go that wasn't too bad all right and then next there's the five screws here that we need to take off actually there's six screws but uh i'm missing one because i tried to take it apart before and super glue it back together i even tried jb weld and neither one of those work so if you're looking for something to uh, really hold plastic together good luck i have yet to find anything like that okay so i got that loose and looks like we're just going to pull that off i'll set that aside i have a little table over here where i'm setting my parts looks like there's another screw down in here there's a couple here holding this this wire on looks like and i think that that right there is really what's holding this whole housing on yeah that loosened it up pretty good okay so this one right here this handle part of it has one two three four five screws that i know of probably six because of this part that's broke out and if you'll see here's the part that we're replacing it with and as a matter of fact there is another hole there so it will have that many screws anyway we'll take these out a little bit more on that one there's the five screws that we did have so that goes over there in the parts department that's gone and that was the trigger looks like here's two more phillips head screws it's a good thing i'm recording this if i forget how this goes back together i can just go back and watch it and see how i took it apart huh that's the way it goes see those uh, screws right there go with that thing on top of that all right oh, okay so this is a little Looks like this little white thing plugs in right there, so I'm going to try to unplug that. Yep, it unplugs. That allows me to go back down through that little hole down there. There's a little hole. So remember that when you're putting it back together, it goes back down through this little hole. Uh, that's all pretty loose. This right here is somewhat loose. It's on this little, there's these little pegs, these little green pegs. You just lift them off there, it looks like. I'm probably touching something that I shouldn't. Somebody's probably screaming at me like, you're not supposed to be touching that part of, of the board. I have no idea if that's the case. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Something. 
I take it off one, it falls back on the other one. All right, so we got that loose. Of course, and now these all right here look like they plug into these, uh, and they'll have to have a little flat head. It looks like a little flat head down inside there. So, looks like I'm going to need a couple more things. I'll need to get a flat head right quick, and I also need to grab... Um, a small Phillips head for these. I got this Cobalt tool set that a buddy of mine, he's a mechanic friend, he used to, he used to work with me laying floors, and he saw this Cobalt, Cobalt tool set at the AutoZone, and it was on sale like almost half off, and he was like, dude, you do not have a good set of tools, you should totally get that. And so I did, and I still have it, and I hardly ever use it, but today I get to. So I'm excited about that. Shout out to Ronnie Haller. What's up, buddy? All right, so let's see if we can do this without taking it. doesn't look like these need to be taken out because they'll still be hooked up, but these wires need to go down through that hole, so I definitely need to pull those out if I can get in there. Looks like you just pull it out like that. So remember, the black goes on the right side with the black. And the white and the red goes in there. Alright, so in order for this thing to pass through, my best bet is probably just going to be able to take this yellow apart. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see if we can't pull those out. Perfect, perfect. Oh, this one needs a little more. Just keep my hand on that one. That way I know it goes on that side. Beautiful. That's that one. We know that that one with the writing on it right there goes on that side. And then the pink one's going to go on this side. That should be all I have to take loose to get it through the hole, right? Alright, so there's that. Looks like we're free and clear with that. Boom. We're in. So now we have the other one over here. And here it is. It doesn't have any... Uh, screws with it so we're totally dependent on the screws that came with it so we'll try to go back through the way we just came back out and we'll start with these wires and the white one and that puppy should sit down just like that oh and by the way this one goes up in there so let's go ahead and do that while we're messing with it okay. all right we got that thing in there I think what I'll do to start off with is go ahead and drop this screw back down in there. That's the one that holds it in. That way we're not worrying about it rocking around or anything like that. Okay. Good stuff, Z-Bird. Good stuff. Alright. And then also, this one, it wouldn't hurt to put this one in, I don't think. Alright, so we got that one tightened up. And that should sit like that in there. It's a little weird how this thing is, but I guess that's what it was. Remember we were talking about how the one with the writing goes in there? That's what we're going to do now. And then of course the one without the writing went on the other side. Then we had the pink one here. So, like I say, if, if you just remember what order you took everything apart in, it should be pretty easy to put it all back together and then of course look at it before you take it apart to make sure that there's something that you don't really need to take apart that you're thinking that you you should have to take apart uh, don't worry about that all right so uh this where the heck does this go we know that that was down in there causing me issues trying to get that thing out that goes in there which means oh yeah remember this pink went in there with that I remember that. So we will have to loosen that back up and stick that in there. Just get them both in there together. If that's possible. Which it looks like it is. So we got that going on, and it looks like this goes right here. Here is we have this one left, right? Black to black. All right. 
so I think we have everything hooked up except for this little white wire right here and it goes this right here all right so so far this is the most hardest or most difficult part of it and that was just plugging these two little prongs back into these two little holes over here it looks like such a delicate portion of the saw so just gotta be careful I don't want to break one of these prongs off they're very small yeah all right so we got it we're all set as far as I know we have got everything wired up where it should be everything's plugged into where it should be Oh, this goes up in here all right that looks like it now it's putting it all back together that's the that's the thing and I'll go ahead and put these two screws on the top to help hold this this thing down up here and clearly it went like that because of clearly because of the little the little marks down inside of it All right, guys, we're almost there. We are almost home. Yep, once you get it tightened down in there, that holds in there pretty good like that. All right, and so here's the top, and it goes like this. So we just need to figure out how all this stuff goes in here. Right, so this thing goes in here this goes into here okay so see how it goes like that yep beautiful beautiful So we want the big part like that. Again, there's these little slider things, so. All right, last but not least, this thing goes up into the top here. Oh. Yeah, these probably need to be unplugged first. I don't even know that I use this thing. Okay, and so like that looks like looks like we got it, bro. Right, so this one will go to the back. Okay, so this one actually goes back here. These all four are the same, so they don't really matter which one you put those in. These right here go back there. There's one there. There's one there, which we were missing. There's one that goes up underneath, so remember that one. We got one up underneath here. So, but this seemed to be pretty simple. We're going to try it out here soon to see if she works. And if so, she's back on the job making money because she hadn't been there in a while well, i've been having to use a, a small makita 10 incher 
that uh, my wife likes to say it'll cut your face off because there's there's not one of these little guards on there and if uh if you're trying to get down there and see hey, i gotta go over just a little bit you may you may slice the tip of your nose off if you're not careful i mean it it, it can get dangerous definitely gotta know what you're doing when you're out there playing around it's not a game as my mom would say hopefully that won't happen again all right and then we locking it in and then of course this one right here these screws are the there's the big daddy of them all that holds it all together and it gives you something to carry it with so we're not seeing anybody carrying it by this part huh that would be that'd be a day to tell somebody what's going on hey that's not how you carry a saw the last one broke if i see you carrying it like that again then it's going to be 30 dollars out of your paycheck because we all know how much one of these costs now right to replace looks like we're good all right so basically that's it it was pretty simple uh, as i said i'm no mechanic so i don't usually use tools like wrenches and screwdrivers a lot I do a lot of wood stuff so I use a lot of saws and nail guns and stuff like that so on a level of difficulty I say this was like a one it was not that hard at all so if you do have this particular saw this I believe is the same uh, handle that would go with the 12 inch saw as well I looked at them in the Home Depot so the 10 inch saw and the 12 inch saw both have the same size handle so if you did break your handle off and you're like oh man I just need a new saw save yourself a 150 bucks and just go order yourself a new handle uh, i'll try to find the name of where i got it and post it in the uh, comments down below and if i don't if you're curious about that leave that in the comments say hey i did the same thing uh, where'd you order yours from and we'll get to the bottom of it all right that's all i got for you guys today hope you enjoyed and hope this was tip was helpful for you if you want go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you want to get all the videos that we're putting out which is about one a week one every two weeks and most of them are floor installation related go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time i put out a new video uh, also hit the like button that helps with the youtube algorithm and helping us grow a little bit more again thanks for watching my name is anon hunt we'll see you next time bye